Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, on one side, a bloodlusted silverback gorilla. On the other side, 16, 16-year-olds equipped with aluminum baseball bats. Fight to the death. Who wins? Obviously, the silverback gorilla. Jones, I googled it. The average silverback gorilla weighs roughly 430 pounds. Okay? The average 16-year-old, first of all, we don't know if they're boys, if they're girls, if they're tall, if they're small. It's an average. So let's say eight boys, eight girls, eight tall, eight small, right? They're not adding up. Even if they are adding up to 430 pounds of silverback gorilla, the total mass of the 16-year-olds is nowhere near this gorilla. And you mentioned it yourself. This is a bloodthirsty, blood-hungry silverback gorilla, okay, who wants to kill everything in its path, who's just angry at the world. Okay, I don't know if you've ever been to the zoo. I have, and I've seen in the zoo. I have. A sil- yeah, okay. Well, the silverback gorillas in the, ju- in the zoo, Jones, those things are terrifying. The way they pump it on their chest, you know, run it up. You see them run, bang into the glass, their teeth. Have you ever watched Planet of the Apes? Those even aren't even, those aren't even silverback gorillas. And yet those things would probably beat 16, 16-year-olds. The 16-year-olds don't stand a chance. The gorilla wins this every single day. It's obviously the 16-year-old, and, and it's not even close. I, I don't know how you possibly came up with this conclusion to this debate. They all have aluminum baseball bats, and you said it, and that's on the high side, by the way. I did my research, too. The average grill is about 350 pounds. So uh, 430. Fine. 430. Fine. You want, fine. You want to say 430 from whatever you know ridiculous website you got it from? I don't care. 430 pounds. Let's say that. How does the average mass, how does the mass of the gorilla exceed the mass of the students? There's no way. Say on average they weigh 130 pounds if you want to take a low average for 16 year olds because remember there are also are some 16 year olds on the high side of that average who are grown men so who knows what you're getting if you're going to take that there's really skinny and dweeby teens there's also big and athletic teens okay that will carry it and you give them an aluminum bat one swing that thing is already feeling it the gorilla might kill two or three out of the gate right but then you have the rest of the teens banging on it with bats from all sides eventually the gorilla is going to go down even if the gorilla kills 15 and the last one bangs the gorilla in the head and that's the end of it still i win you have no shot here shones you're not understanding an aluminum bat okay that's nothing it's what, what? like this this big 30 inches 30 centimeters I don't, no, yeah 30 centimeters i don't know should, what I, it is. should I hit you with an aluminum bat and jones, we'll see if i'm it's not nothing? a silverback gorilla obviously if you hit me i would be in a lot of pain if you hit a gorilla first of all they're soup, they're tall, right? You're not going to be able to jump up, hit that thing in the head. You're probably going from the back. And if you see it straight on, it's just knocking that away, right? The best chance you have of hitting it is from the back. You're going to hit it in the leg with the bat. And then the gorilla's turning around at you, probably breaking it in half and eating you. Also, what you're not considering here, what do gorillas have? Gorillas have their primates, right? They have thumbs, they have hands. They know, they're pretty coordinated with this stuff. If you let one of these bats get in the hand, the hand, or hands, if he has two, or just one of the gorilla, now you're fucked, Jones. Because if you have an angry gorilla swinging the bat back at the kids, 0% chance of anybody Again, you, you just, I mean, it, it's ridiculous at this point. You just described a one-on-one scenario. Yeah, if I took on a gorilla with a silver, a silverback gorilla with a, an aluminum bat, I'm losing. There are 16 of them swinging the bats at one time. And I don't know what your conception of gorillas are. Maybe you need to do a little more research. They're strong. They're big. But they're not immortal. Aluminum bats hurt anybody. You hit a lion <laughs> with an aluminum bat. You hit a tiger with an aluminum bat. You, you know, you hit any animal with an aluminum bat, and it is going to hurt. Gorillas no. will feel that. And 16 of them swinging all at once. And again, I'm going to give these students the benefit of the doubt, these te- teenagers the benefit of the doubt. You know, they're in school right now. They probably understand how to band together and get a collective effort to be in the right spots to get this gorilla if we can say that the gorilla is bloodlusted and the gorilla won't back down because statistically a real gorilla probably in this situation if it saw 16 bats talk about they're smart they're human like they would back down because they don't want to get hit by 16 bats so if the gorilla is bloodlusted i can go to the extent that the students are smart know how to organize maybe create a decoy and then whack that thing well this is where you're wrong again jones this is becoming a common theme on this podcast 
The students are smart, yes, but they're not trained soldiers. They're not professionals. They you don't, don't have, have a strategy. To be a trained soldier Joe, yes, to swing let me explain. A baseball let me explain. Bat. Let me explain. Is Aaron Judge a trained let soldier? Let me explain. Does he hit hard? Does he hit Jones, let me explain. This is ridiculous. First of all, Aaron Judge is not out there. They're 16 year olds. And second of all, have you ever tried to play like Capture the Flag or some game like that? And you say, okay, if we all run at the exact same time across this line, they can't get us, right? That's a fact. If you all coordinate it and you all do the exact same thing, you're going to win. But human nature, you're naturally scared. Nobody wants to be the first person to make that move. People aren't sure. It's a game of chicken. Are you going to go? Am I going to go? Are we all going to go? Can I trust you for it? And so they lose. Same in this situation. If you've got a military commander and you got all 16, 16 year olds out of plan, they were attacking from the flank and they were all guaranteed to go, maybe they stand a chance. But human nature, especially as a 16-year-old, some of them are going to be scared. They don't stand a chance. They're not coordinating any attack. Gorilla's taking one arm, knocking out all 16 and winning easily. So by the same argument of nature and being a living being, maybe the gorilla gets a little scared too. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. It was a pleasure, Charles. Talk to you soon.